Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 107. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. It's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special <laughs> guest in the building. Introduce yourself to the audience. What's going on, family? It's Victor Hayes, financial liter- literacy advocate, um, a lover of people. We are one. Let's get it going, baby. Let them know where you're calling in from, international hang. Calling not in just from. Hashtag, this is a way of life. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, Victor Hayes uh, out of Columbus, Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? In the cricket letter space, man. So we we, we just here live uh, with Hype. I'm thankful to be on this podcast. Um, just I'm, I'm a guy just hiding behind the pine, just trying to share a little shine with everybody that wants to lend the ear to hear. Copy that. Let's hit the rundown now. Custom Hustle. Custom Hustle is the clothing line. It's at Custom Hustle World on Instagram. Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. Custom Sneaks. Custom Jerseys. Custom Jackets. We got the track jackets. The spring joints are now in. You can get those the same way as the varsity jackets. You design them. They are one of one unless you buy four. The sweatsuits are still in and also T-shirts. The sneakers are available in any color. We go up to a size 14 and we have kids sizes. We have ladies sizes. Whatever color you need them in. We it is at Custom Hustle World on Instagram, Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. H2H Cleaning is my cleaning company. If you make it worth my while, we will slide down to Mississippi and clean up the whole situation and make that happen for you. We got roofing, plumbing, HVAC, flooring, carpet, and cleanups, cleanouts, however you need it, we can make it happen. Because everything is a hustle. That is at H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. Let's hit the rundown now. E-Block Radio Network every Monday, 2 o'clock on the E-Block Radio Network. GFT Radio Network every Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Wednesdays is 216 to blend, 12 midnight, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Fridays is the IC Podcast Radio Network. Saturday is the THC Media. Those are both at 10 a.m. Sunday is still wide open. Thursdays is wide open now. West Coast, what's happening? Now, episode 107. You ready? Absolutely. This one, this one is, I'm a collection of who? You fill in the blank yourself. We will give a couple of different examples if you got them, as I got a couple. Uh, we usually start with the guests first, but I'm going to start this one off because mom, my mom, I tell people all the time, I'm a mama's boy and proud of it. You will never be able to shame me about that. Uh, if me and mom are both hanging over a cliff, I'm going because I'm pushing her ass up. <laughs> um yeah, yeah. Mom is the she big mama for the family. She ain't the oldest, but she's the one. Everybody's calling her. Everybody brings all the problems to her. Everybody looks for her to be that person that you can lean on. She's the strong one. And I got all of that from her because I'm definitely the one that they call. I'm definitely the one who's always the problem solver. And I need help. I need advice. I need some money. I need whatever it is. They always bring it to my mom. And now it seems that they're bringing it to me. But I got that. Like I said, I got it honestly from her because that's what she did, who she is and who she always will be. Now, because I always tell people I pay attention to everything, I see what that did to my mom as far as her being burnt out with certain individuals and all of that. So I got to the point where I got to fuck it and fuck them a whole lot quicker than she did. But I definitely got that uh, personality trait from my mom. Talk to you now, Vic. Give me one. Give you one. Um, obviously, obviously, I got to give it to 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 my parents. Um, my mom, my mom, and my dad. Uh, I'm definitely a collective of both. Uh, but they are also a collective of the creator, and um, I'm, I'm a combination of creation. You know what I mean? Uh, um. But but if I had to just pick one specific thing, man, I, I you know I was fortunate enough to be uh, growed up with with my mom and dad until my dad passed in two thousand five on my birthday. Um, Ooh, sorry, uh, it, it, yeah, it was a, it was a hard hit, man. I, I mean, I said two thousand five; it was actually two thousand four on my birthday. Um, and um, I am a collective of a humble upbringing. Um, and 
being able to experience it. Was it all good? No, it wasn't all good, but it wasn't all bad either. And honestly, I can say like the last 15 years before my father passed, I remember my mom actually had an excellent relationship. Probably one of the, I, I actually am I'm on a quest to to achieve the type of love that they had um in the in the latter years of his life. Uh so yeah, that's 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 I mean, I am who I am. You know what I mean? I was who I was, but now I am who I am, and I'm cool with both of them people because if it wasn't who I was for who I was, I definitely wouldn't be able to I appreciate be who, who I am, am now. Man. Yeah. Um, same situation for me as far as mom and dad. I wanted to give them their flowers separately. Yeah, uh, my dad passed in 09. Okay. Uh, my mom and dad was together my whole life, they had been together since the 60s. Um, never seen mom and dad have one argument. They had disagreements on damn, I wanted fish, I wanted Chinese, I wanted pizza. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. wanted fish, you wanted chicken, but never, yeah. not never one argument. So, yeah, that was uh, something that I always took into relationships and different. You know, back in my backsliding days before I was married. Yeah. Love you, baby. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> like That's what's up. N- never, never dealt in them type of situations. Never dealt with those type of people just because that's not what it's that's not what I saw. That's not what it looked like for me. Um yeah. so I definitely want to put that out there. Cause I think like I said I wanted to do them separate, but you got some things that you learn from them collectively. Um, but my dad, uh something that I got from him was a couple of his friends was in jail. A couple of uncles was in jail while I'm growing up. And my dad always held them down until he couldn't no more until he was, you know, got sick on your deathbed type time. And so when my homies go to jail, then that's what you're supposed to do. That's your man, you hold him down. To send somebody 10 pictures, it was $3. To get 10 pictures, just get an envelope and send them off, probably $4. If me and him was anything, you worth four dollars. That would be my mindset on, you know, your man is gone. He's gone. He's not, he's gone. He's not dead. He didn't just disappear off the face of the earth. At this point is when he really needs you the most. And right. this is when you're supposed to hold him down. This is what you're supposed to do if that's your man. And that's one of those things that I got from my dad. Uh, and also like uh, religion I got from my dad, uh, discipline, strength, brotherhood. I got all those things from my dad. Because my dad was the only child. So all he ever wanted was to have like a big family. And then once the family got big, he wasn't here to see it. But still those, your brothers that ain't your brothers, but they your brothers. Yeah. Like knowing how to deal in all of those relationships, I got all of that from my dad. That's what's up. Yeah. You got another one for me? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I mean, man, I, I've been blessed, dude. I've, I've been beyond blessed. I, I mean, again, I'm a collective of people different personalities good and bad um so the culmination of everything has made for my good you know what i mean even when it was bad it was good because hey man i'm sitting here right now you know what i mean i'm sitting right here right now at this time at this date so obviously i've made it this this thus far in my life so um i don't discount or discredit any contact even the connection um and i want to give you a shout out for just having me on your platform i appreciate it man because hey we got a lot of distance in between where we are geographically and just because of connections and networking we were able to make this happen but uh shouts again, out bro, to Unk. shouts out to jock johnson <laughs> jock johnson i'll put the call, baby. Call. <laughs> yes, put the call in and say yo man i got my man want to get on and i said i don't yeah. spoke for you you good shouts out to yeah. Unk. that's my guy absolutely keep it pushing that's what Jack Johnson podcast. Keep it pushing, mm-hmm. baby. Yes, sir. Uh, but uh, man, I owe all gratitude, man. Um, to to just when when we talk about collectives, I, I know we want to keep it to one or two things, but I I I say that everything, man, every everything, every everything, even down to just the electricity that's making this happen, where we are able to have this fusion and conversation. It's, it's, it's all patterned collectively into who, who I am, you know, and, and who I will be. So, um, man, shout out to everybody and everything. You know what I mean? Um, um, I'm a realist. I'm a realist. Um, I, I feel like everything happens for a reason. And I mean, we, we, we out here. So I'm thankful. I'm thankful for everything. I got one more person uh, Let's do it. that I want to throw out there is Reek. My brother, 
Uh, Reek is the big brother, so to speak, of like our block. That's this. Reek okay, is the big good. brother, but he ain't the oldest. So that's like me. I'm the youngest. I'm it's me, uh, me and EJ, the two youngest. Uh, R.I.P. EJ. You listen to the show, you know, I talk about E all the time. But um, mm-hmm. I got all of my overprotectiveness from Reek. I got my, if we go, we all got to come back from Reek. I got, if something happened to one of us, that's my fault because I'm supposed to make sure that we all good. I got my, like, we got, like, my my hustler's mentality from him. Not even so much just from him, just from the surroundings and a situation that I grew up in. And it was like, this is what everybody's doing. You should take those same attitudes, thought process, and mentality, and it just can go any and everywhere. You could put that into clothing line, cleaning business, podcasts, whatever the hell it is you want to do. You could put it into anything with the same principles of it and make it all work. And that's, like I said, definitely something that I picked up from him. And again, these are things that I was picking up as a kid because all of my guys was always older than me. So you always try to learn from the mistakes that everybody else is making. Yeah. Don't think that you're special and that you're not going to make those mistakes just because you're the special one. That doesn't yeah. exist. You only don't make those mistakes if you learn from the mistakes of others, if you pay attention to the surroundings that you have. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. A lot of people don't because we think we're special, which copy. I mean, you know, we all yeah. get there when we get there. Hopefully we get there. But um, I definitely wanted to give him uh, I definitely wanted to give him a shout out and a salute because I got a lot of my stuff from him, from watching him, from paying attention to just the way that he carried himself. And like I said, he wasn't the oldest, but he was the big brother. And just the same situation that I kind of grew into was I'm not the oldest, but I'm the big brother. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm the same way, man. I, I mean, <clears throat> I'm the youngest of five out of five. I'm, I'm the fifth and the youngest of my family. I got an old oldest. My sister is the oldest and it's, she's it's one girl. And then it's, um, you know, three boys other than me. So it makes makes five with me. So it's just four four boys and uh, one sister. And I mean, man, look, we 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 come from a family of rich rich history and uh, music entertainment uh, and just like I, I'm I'm thankful for the people, man. The 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 collective of my mom and my dad's family is is really unique, but. Uh, Man, I I learned a lot of resiliency from my brothers, man, and I saw my my family members go through things, and it's like I was one of those people that you know some people have to like you said earlier. I'm just kind of paraphrasing, but you was kind of like some people can they have to experience stuff for themselves because they think they got it all figured out. They think they're the special one, but like we all think we special, yeah, 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 yeah. And I I, I actually was able to see stuff and say, no, I don't want to go that route. So when I was faced with it in my life and my journey, I was like, nah, <laughs> nah, big bro. Like this, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't how we rolling. Like this, this ain't how it went down. So it just made it a lot easier for them because they paved a lot of ways for me. So I am, I am definitely uh, specifically thankful for my siblings, man. And just the things that they showed me in the areas that they, the, the way that they pivoted through life and the journeys and the different obstacles that they had to face. See me, I'm an extremist. And I know that about myself. Again, mm-hmm. gotta be honest with yourself. Like I said, mama's boy, proud of it. You'll never be able to shame me about that. I'm an extremist. I go way too hard. I care way too much. And if I put my name on it, I can't bullshit it. So one thing I don't play with is my name. And absolutely, bro. Ooh, you're never gonna meet. I, I ain't gonna, that's never, another episode. I already know, but <laughs> you ain't gonna never meet nobody who, when they hear my name, they got something bad to say. If they yeah. got something bad to say, it's because that nigga don't know me. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't deal in them type situations. So, like I said, I know I'm an extremist, and I know the situation that I grew up in, where if I would have jumped in, I'd be in the feds because I know I was gonna do way too much. I wasn't going to be content with just, we got this one revenue right here. Same mindset. Like I said, I took into all these other things. 
yeah. started off with just jerseys and then it was like well can you get jackets yeah can you get sweatsuits yeah can you get sneaks yeah like why just limit yourself to one thing when there's so many different avenues branches and things that you can go out there and do so knowing that about yourself knowing that you're not special knowing that if it my dad, best piece of advice he ever gave me. If it worked, you'd be doing it for me. <laughs> yeah. Most people think that, you know, they're the special one. It ain't gonna be they, it ain't gonna be their fault. Um now, yeah. Let's uh let's switch it up a little bit now and talk about you. What it is that you have going on, what it is that you have all of those different life experiences that you went through, all of those different collectives. Like you said, I'm a collection of just creation all of those different collectives have led you to doing what with your life. Okay. Cause this is the part where oh. we shine a light on the guests. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so again, I'm a financial literacy advocate, but, um, I come from a school of hard knocks. So you got a people that's uh, graduated from Juilliard and Yale and Princeton and uh, a bunch of Ivy league schools. And that's cool. That's great. If you've done that, but, um, I speak from a place of realism. I speak for a place of comparison and relation. So I'm able to relate to my clients um, in a financial space that's unlike a lot of others. There's a gazillion, trillion, thousand, billion people that do what I do, but there's nobody that do what I do quite like I do. I can fix anything but a broken heart. So if you got I the wheel, this. I've got the way. You know <laughs> oh, what I mean? Uh, I let's go. I don't, I don't want to jump on your drink before you get there, but I tell people that all the time. One yeah, when they well, say, "Oh, you got a podcast." Everybody got a podcast, but nobody has hype except me. Exactly. This exactly. is not like anybody else. You're not going to get me. You're not going to get any of this from anywhere but here. If you want this? Absolutely. You come to Hot Hustle Podcast. This Absolutely. is not a spinoff or a remake of right. nobody else. I ain't shouting nobody right. else because they had to pay for it and not give it. <laughs> I, I, bro, go I, ahead, bro. Man, shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you. And I, I love. I love that. I love that about your platform. I love that. I mean, you had a topic and we got a topic, but we are discussing you, you, you keeping it to the, to the point, but you definitely have your own flow. And I, and I like that, you know what I mean? I mean, not, not to say that I'm the one that's the, I'm not um, the, the spokesperson for podcasts or anything like that, but just my personal uh, appetite. I, I appreciate it. Um, and I value it. So um, with that being said, um, I, I'm not, I'm not patternized to be a person. I'm sort of like, uh, I guess you would say I'm quintessentially like a, a Kevin Samuels or Dame, Damon Dash of financial literacy. Like I force people out of their comfort zones and I force them, I, I make people face the things that they don't want to face. You know what I mean? So my persona is more or less, it's a little bit different than just saying I can fix the situation. I want you to understand how and why you got in your situation. But when you get out of it, I want you to be able to move forward and move forward uh, progressively and understand that you never, ever want to go back to where you've been. Not to forget it, but just to progress. And I just want people to share my information with somebody else. I mean, there's not any instance that there, there are so many people I see that are suffering and feel like life is at a standstill and they feel like they pushed against the wall and they feel like they deserve to have less. You don't deserve to have less. We weren't created to be less people. So I, uh, um, I'm a very empathetic person when it comes to dealing with people and strategizing on how to get them where they need to be. I tell people all the time, um, I'm here for you. I want to see my people win, but I can't want what you want more than you want it. If you got a vision in mind, my vision is my vision. Your vision is your vision. We pay to see other people's visions all the time. So, <laughs> and we promote people all the time. I'm promoting somebody right now. I could be promoting myself. If I found this material, I can make this same material I like and have my logo on it. And I'm going to, I'm on a quest to do that as, as we speak, but, but at the same time, we're promoting all the time. So with that being said, I'll close off with that part and just say, I'm thankful to reach people in a space that I have self-experienced from a spot of debt, um, major debt, man. I mean, um, I, I was in a say I was in a place of debt where the bank wouldn't even lend me a pen. Like if I went in and signed, it was like, <laughs> look, I don't, I don't trust this guy with a pen to, try to sign this check right here. So um, 
but I'm again, that's just my calling card, financial literacy, but I'm just a people person. Like I feel people's energy and 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 I can go so, wherever you can get up in mysticism, uh, whatever you want to get into. Like I, I can go as deep and deep as you can go with things. Now, so, two things yeah. that you touched on there that you said, uh, one of those things that that's one of my joints too is I can't care more than you do about your own problem. Yeah. <laughs> you know? There you and go. You don't forget the past, you just learn from it. Mm -hmm. And because that's what you're talking about. Yeah, you did whatever you did to fuck your credit up, but now we can't forget that you did that, but we gotta learn what led you to fucking that up and let's not yeah. go there again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel like we talked about this before on the podcast. Financial literacy is one of them things that they need to be teaching in like 12th grade mm -hmm. because the the youth being wasted on the young is one of them things that you don't realize until you become a little older. And I just recently like kind of understand a little bit more where your mom and your dad come from once you become the parent because all you get is the perspective of the kid all you can see is the things from the kid's perspective until you start getting asked certain questions and start being in certain situations but um financial literacy is one of those things that needs to be taught because in those next couple of years me and my man just was talking about this earlier actually. free half shout out to half my brother excuse me um, shout out to half let's do it again i say we yeah was just, two times we was, i say yeah we was just talking about like in them days when you 18, 19, 20, 21, it's like, man, you just floating. And this is the time where you going probably, you going to make some bad decisions. You going to fuck some things up. You going to have six credit cards and paid none of them off and all of that type of shit. <laughs> and it's like, once you start to hit 25, 26 and you start to go, all right, man, I got to start tightening this shit up. Cause now you start to want a house and not an apartment. And if we could arm ourselves with those tools, though, before you get that credit card application and fuck your credit up, or you get to hearing about a, a IRA and all of that type of shit that you never even heard of or knew anything about, mm -hmm. we need to start arming ourselves with those like classes and those courses, like voting registration type of things. We did that. It was another episode that I did in the past. Like we need to have these things as classes to teach in twelfth grade because, like, unless you want to be a scientist, you don't need you don't need three, four years of science. Yeah. Like, because this is not going to come up in your everyday life. You don't need three, four years of history if that's not what's coming up in your everyday life. Like, you need to start teaching real life because once you get out into the real world, you start to learn and a lot of the shit that they be teaching you don't even be the shit that will really happen. <laughs> like, so like, yeah. math, English, we need those classes. Read, write, count. It's all will always be there. No matter how many computers that they have, the contracts are still going to be on paper and you're still going to have to read them. And at yeah, the end of it, yeah. you're going to have to learn how to write because you're going to have to sign. It. Even if you have an e-doc to sign and all of that, you still have to sign it and want it to yeah. look decent. And right. you're always going to need counting because that's how you're going to keep track of the money. Because if you can't count, read, or write, then you are an easy target. But yeah. Yeah. you need to start throwing those things in there in the, like, like I said, 11th, 12th grade stages because these are the shit that you need to know once you young, dumb, full of cum ages, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to make them bad decisions. <laughs> That's going to yeah. fuck up your 20s, your 30s, and your 40s because you didn't know no better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you said it all, bro. You you said it all, and it encompasses the whole... whole. Put some respect on your name, man. All, all you got in this world is your name. You know what I mean? No matter how you look at it and where your name derived from, but your, your last name is that's that's all that you really can say that you actually have even if you don't really have it but to be disenfranchised and disconnected from your last name and to know that you know um there are people there are generations that are dying off under namesakes and the younger generations that are coming in that will never ever know that there were great people in their family because the namesakes it died off you know what i mean so and I, I, and I, I, we could, I mean, this again, when you, when you start talking about podcasting, everything is a signal for something else. It's another conversation to be had, but that's, a, that's another conversation, but I call I those just, teasers I, in the business, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teasers. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, but like your name, your name, my name means something to me. My name means something to me because when this is all said and done and you you leave here and you you've done all you wanted to do and you've had fun and you've enjoyed the accolades and you've enjoyed the materialistics and when we get out this and we check out and you lay in horizontal you can't and won't be concerned about who's going to leave on and who's going to carry your legacy on so 
in the financial literacy space, yes, it's good for you to have good credit for you to be able to sustain and maintain and move forward in life. But it's also beneficial for the people that have to come after you. And you got to be a selfish person to live this life and enjoy and not want to share value or what you have accomplished with somebody else because you can't take it with you no way. So that's my goal. And it's like I said, when you talk to people straight talk, they don't want to hear it. Like they, they goes in one ear and out the way. Oh yeah, I know I need good credit. Oh, I know I need this and that. When you push people out their comfort zone, it's just like a mama bird pushing the baby out the nest. A lot of people don't understand it. It's a fact, it's a fact of life. You know, Everybody the mama bird just want... hope that you take wings and fly, but some birds hit the ground and die. You know what I mean? Everybody so, say that they want honesty, but honesty is a hard conversation. And some people are not hard conversation. Some people are not built for a harsh conversation. Because they haven't had it with themselves. Gonna... They haven't had it with themselves. Some people have been in a shelter situation where they never had to have those conversations, so they don't know how to deal with that. It's yeah. one of them things that I always do throw at people, too, is, man, it's going to keep being August the 5th. Your birthday going to come every year. Don't mean you got yeah. no better at this thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> lastly, before we go, uh, yeah. one more time, throw out all your handles and all your information. And if somebody is, like I'm saying, international hype, not just the hashtag. Some of my yeah, folks yeah. from Mississippi say, hey, man, I want to tap in and get some of that financial knowledge from Vic. Let all them right. know where can they get all of that information and give me one of those things that you will throw at them that they need to already come with type of thing. Okay. Um, so so I'm on Instagram, uh, CMF uh, Solutions, uh, CMF underscore solutions on Instagram. Uh, I'm uh, Victor Hayes on Facebook. Uh, you can reach me at 662-346-6118. I'm able to assist anybody in the United States and any other derivatives that's included in the United States, Puerto Rico. So, in, uh, international, Vic, not yeah, just the head. Yeah, absolutely, man. I can help anybody. You know, I, I mean, hey, if you got the will, I got the way. I mean, so... Um, um, What I'll say okay. in closing on that is if, if you come to me, I just need you to be intentional. Reach out to me. Direct message me on Facebook. Again, Victor Hayes. Or you can reach me on Credit Mechanic Financial Solutions, which is my, my business handle on um, Facebook. Credit Mechanic Financial Solutions. You know, like I say we can fix anything but a broken heart. But uh, <laughs> um, um, we're going to have all reach that out to me. the episode. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So just reach out to me. Um, I want to help people. I want to see my people win. I want to see my people win. There's no need to be boxed in. I understand there's a lot of information in YouTube. You don't know how to decipher. You don't know who is who and what's, who's telling what. There's a lot of information that has come about in the last three or four years since the pandemic and stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that people are, they seeing it, but they don't know all of the details. Reach out to me. I give free consultations. I will show you the, I will show you the blueprint to how to do what you need to do. If you want to do it yourself for free, I'll give that to you. If you need my services, then we'll talk that too. But again, thank you, Hype Man, for having me on your podcast, dude. I, I can't thank you enough, bro. I appreciate I appreciate you, brother, and bless you, man, on um, on into the next levels of your journey. No doubt about it. That was episode 107. We are Oh, I am hype. That's H Y M P E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. Feel it, feel it.